In today's tutorial you're going to experience a baby blanket. This is a chevron baby blanket. This is only a sample but I'm going to be giving you a free pattern and we're gonna show you how exactly to do this and I'm gonna show you tips on, on other things on how to make them bigger as well. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Now today we're going to experience the Zigzag Baby Blankets by Karen and I've substituted my yarn from Simply Soft to Little Tots just like so. So if you want to do a yarn substitution I figured out it's about 10 balls that you'll need of the Bernat Little Tots in order to make this work. It's a really cute yarn. Has somewhat of a color changing effect to it and so you can see that the colors are kind of popping out in and out as you go and especially you can really see it on the actual yellow and greens here. So today we're going to be showing you how to do this pattern. It is really such a simple pattern and I'm going to be providing you a link in the more information of this video because I have a chart for you to follow if you prefer this and this shows you all the key uh, tips. You can print this out and just keep it handy if you wish to follow it as well. This is my rough notes. I figured I might as well give that to you as well. So I have a chart here and I'm gonna provide this chart in the more information of this video. Now this is actually stemming from a pattern called the Zigzag Baby Blanket from Karen and I'm gonna provide a link for that particular pattern with this as well. So what we're having today is that each chevron is made up of 25 of single crochet or 25 chains to start. And so what happens is that we're gonna go up and we're gonna say 25 and then 25 and then at the very end we're going to add two chains for the beginning and then three chains for the end. So no matter what size that you wanna make it you just have to keep going in groups of 25. So 25, 25, 25 and I measured it to for this sample here. This is the Bernat uh, Little Tots or Little Tots <laughs> and basically what this is is that I measured from edge to edge and it's about five and a half uh, inches wide in order to make it. So you can make it in any size that you wish. Now you should know that when you're doing these chains at 25 the chains are gonna be much longer than this example. It's, it's gonna be much wider but the thing about it is that the chains have to dip down and dip back up therefore it uses the, the extra of the chain in order to make it more narrow. So you just have to keep that in mind. But this is a really easy pattern and let's get started now. So here's the pattern that we're going to be referencing today. This is a free pattern available on Yarnspirations.com. There's a link in the more information of this video if you'd like to access this. Now this is a really generous size. It's actually about 32 inches wide by 60 inches uh, long. So it's almost as like twice as long as it is wide. Again that creativity is up to you on how big that you really want to make it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be able to do these chevrons that you see here and I'm going to be showing you how to change the sizes. So if you want to make it a little more narrower or if you want to make it wider and again you don't have to go as long either but if you're looking for a, a difference of color uh, transitions uh, as far as uh, you know doing the same stitch work of colors you know that's up to you and how big that you want to make it. So the, the, the information is all just provided in words just like so. Of course I have to write on my patterns as well. But what I did for myself is that I wanted to figure out what's gonna happen is if I change sizes. So I, I did provide a diagram for myself in order to figure it out. I actually did the words first and then I did a diagram based on what I could actually see was going on. So what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be chaining in groups of 25 that we go and this will take you to the repeat patterns and then we just have to add three onto the end. So I'm using a five and a half millimeter size I, size I, I crochet hook today. I'm using the Bernat Little Tots. This pattern is uh, Karen Simply Soft and again you can substitute anything that you wish in order to make it work as long as the hook complements the yarn. So let's begin with the slip knot to start with and we're going to do that and slip into your hook. So this remember this never counts as one. So we're gonna do it in groups of uh, 25. I'm only gonna do two groups of 25 for this tutorial sample today because that's all I need to show you. And so basically I'm going to show you um, how to get started. So let's start now and we're gonna chain 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24 and 25. So this is my first chevron here. This is 25. The pattern calls for 180 um, uh, chains and which will give you seven chevrons if you wish to follow that. So I'm gonna do another group of uh, another group so I can get another chevron. So there'll be two chevrons in my sample. So I'm gonna start over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now at the very end I want you to add 5. So once you get to the end of the length that you want I want you to add 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now I was on Facebook this morning and people said that doesn't make any sense and let me show you why it makes sense to add 5. So right in the very beginning we have 2 uh, chains right here. So there's two and then here we have three and there's and people are saying it's off balance by doing three on this side. Remember that when you go to do something like this it will say single crochet second chain from the hook. So in order to do that you have to chain an extra one to get to the second. So that's why there is three on this side and only two on that side. Now going back to the pattern I want to point out something to you and I have circled these red circles right here. So these are red right in the middle and so you'll notice that in the very beginning on the sides here that you're only ever skipping over one chain. Okay when we go to start and in the middle we're always skipping over two. But when we get to the next rows uh, uh, higher we're only ever gonna skip over one single crochet here and on both sides and in the middle it'll always be these two that we're skipping over. So if you look here this single crochet and this single crochet has nothing in it when it comes to the next rounds that we go up higher. So you can see this is why I have circled that. It's because in the next uh, row we're actually skipping over top of them just like this. So this uh, kind of makes sense. So that it wasn't very obvious to me on how the repeat pattern was going because of the way it's starting. So what's happening here is on the very ends and it's hard to notice right now but in you'll see that it comes down and comes up just for a couple stitches. This makes it come back in balance here. Okay, so you kind of see that it kind of comes up and then it levels off on the sides and that's because you're doing that extra two chains at the or two single crochets at the end. It makes it look a lot more cleaner for the edge. So if you're thinking the designers are kind of out for lunch it actually makes a lot of sense and it actually makes your afghan sit down better as well when you do it on the edge like this. So let's begin. We're going to skip over the first chain and go to the second and I'm gonna turn the chain around to the back and get the back hump only. And I'm going to single crochet two to, uh, once into the first one and then the next chain is just one single crochet. Okay. So now we're on the side so we're gonna skip over the next chain and go immediately to the next one over. And we're going to single crochet the next 11 and I'm gonna need to count that so I can't tell you any advice right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. This is nine. And this is ten and 11. So there's 11 and this is gonna go up one side. So let me pull this diagram back to show you. So what's happening here is that you'll see that I put 11 single crochets here. So there's gonna be 11 single crochets that sit by themselves and all sides coming up and down on all of that. So there's your 11. So then the next one we're going to put three single crochets into the next chain. So we have one, two, and three. So just like we went and came up and did this. So we're at the top of the peak now. So you can kind of see this juts up like a check mark uh, up on the very side here. This is going up and now we're gonna go down the other side. So that means that there's 11 single crochets going down. So one, two, three, four, five, 
and this is six and seven eight nine ten and eleven. So now that you have your 11 here, now you're in between, the, so you're not, no longer on the edge. So all of the ones in between, okay, other than the edge, will all have two um, chains skipping. Okay, so we're gonna skip over the two next chains, so one and two, go to the third one over, and then just begin to single crochet another 11 uh, going up the other side. So I wanna make sure I'm getting the right side. So, so one and two, and go to the third. Okay, and then we're gonna do the 11. So this is the bottom peak. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So there's eleven going up the other side. So then the next one will be on the top peak so then there's gonna be three single crochets there. So one, two, and three. So let's go back down the other side again. We're almost done this chain. So you can kinda see that the, the chevron is actually starting to take effect. And so let's go down eleven. So let's do this. So one, two, three, this is four, this is five, six, it's seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So now we're on the edge. So this means that we're gonna skip over one. So one and then the final two chains will be just one single crochet each. So my, I actually didn't lose count at all. <laughs> kind of surprised by that but uh, this is good. So we're just gonna single crochet into the final two and so that's row number one. So the row number one is always the slowest one of these and then now it's gonna speed up a little bit. So let's turn our work and we're gonna come back in the other direction now. So this time what we have to do that you'll notice that there's actually um, kind of a three dimensional look. We're gonna be playing within the back loops of each of these rows as we continue along in every row as we go. So let's uh, look at this really carefully here. I know it's kinda hard to tell in this yarn but every one of these loop uh, stitches are made up of two loops. Okay, so let me pull those apart so you see one and two just like there. We wanna play within the back loop, so the, the loop that is furthest away from you. So let's start our first one and we're going to chain one first and then into the very first one of where the chain is coming out of, we wanna go to the back loop only and we're gonna single crochet and we're gonna do two in a row. So there's one and then the next one, again the back loop is for two. Okay, so we're gonna skip over, this is the edge, so we're gonna skip over the next single crochet and we're going to back loop single crochet 11. So one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and eleven. But let me tell you a secret right now. So we've gone up eleven because we have skipped one down here is that this eleven will take you to the first one of the set of three that are on the top. So we have the first one of the set of three already filled in with the back loop and so the middle one of the three single crochets will have three single crochets into the back loop on its own. 
to maintain that point at the top. And then we're gonna come down this one here and we're gonna go for another 11. So one, two, three, four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have eleven coming down and now we're in between the, the, the bottom spoke. Okay, you see it's like this. We're gonna skip over the next two. So one and two, go to the third one and go to the third back for the back loop for single crochet. So we just skip the two middle ones right in the center so that we can keep that point still facing down. So that's one of eleven. So let's do two. This is three. This is four. And five. Six. Seven. And eight. 9, 10, and 11. So this will take you back to the center again and I'm in, there's the next one which is the direct middle of the three single crochets and so the middle one at the top is gonna be three single crochets on its own again. Okay, so let's go down the other side. So that's gonna be 11. So 1, and that's 2, three, and this is four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So then we're gonna skip over only one because we're uh, on the edge and then we're gonna single crochet into the, in the back loops of the final two. And that completes this line. So I'm gonna get you started one more time because this is all the stitch is. It's that easy. And you can see that the, it's really starting to take its shape now. And now as each row goes up it'll take better and better. So let's turn around and begin again. To begin again we're just going to simply chain up one and again back loop only into the very first one single crochet and into the next and because you're on the edge you're only gonna skip one single crochet go to the second over for and do 11. So one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, and then eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So then once you get that done the next one will be this very center one again and so there will be three single crochets there. And then coming back down the other side. So for eleven. So one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have 11 coming down. We're in the center now in between the work so we're no longer on the edge. So that means that we're gonna skip over two and go to the third and then go up for 11. So one, two and three, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So the next one is the very top just like so. So you got one, two, and three right into the top and then back down the other side. So we're gonna go one, two, 
that's three, four, and that's five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So once you get the eleven in, you're gonna skip the next one and go and get the last two and into the back loops as well. So this is how you would do the chevron just like so and you can use this for the baby blanket. You can use this for any size afghan that you wish. You can go to the total sizes that you wish. It really makes an outstanding look when you go to do this technique. It is three dimensional on both sides so you will have the, the raised edges on both sides and in the right colors this could be an amazing project to work with. Till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd. 